Uh, it's really hard to advance in the postseason, so grateful that uh, we played the way we did because I, I have a ton of respect for Bellarmine, how difficult they are to guard and how much toughness that that team plays with. That That's a group that came in here last year and uh, walked out of here with a win and uh, ended our season. So uh, there was no revenge, just a ton of respect in uh, our approach and thought our guys handled it uh, really professionally. Darius hits one from about the half court logo. Is that the type of should we expect him just to have that type of <laughs> just get going? I mean, he, he was cooking in the first half. He he, uh, he but he's got that ability. We've seen it now for four or five years. When he just has when he when he's feeling it, he's a really hard guard. He's a hard guard anyway, uh, but he's got unlimited range and you know it, it probably was a little unnoticeable. But our guys were we were trying to find him on every every possession and uh, just the sacrifice that those other players make to recognize who's got it going a little bit, I think speaks to just the character of this group and that's why they're so fun to coach. Did you expect Bellman after playing last night to have the adrenaline and try to deliver yes. an early punch? And then how big, how big was Doris Fox you saw from that group, the way they weathered that and then just uh, went on that run there to seize control? Yeah, it, Bellarmine's a, a really good program, they, and they're confident, and they have a belief. So uh, I, I think we got on them a little bit early in uh, mid-February, and it was they had to play from behind the whole game. So uh, I think that was uh, obviously a focal, a focal point of their attack, try and get as deep as they could and play over the top of us. And uh, they, they got out to an early lead, but I think our guys' response is – uh, typical of how they've continued to respond when we've uh, faced some uh, interference during the game. It's they've been fairly unwavering in our pursuit, and uh, crowd gave us a great boost tonight. So uh, always nervous in the first round because when you have had the season that I think our guys have experienced, you certainly uh, don't want to end it with a first round upset. So uh, I thought thought we were maybe a little tight at the beginning, but we got some older guys that uh, I think ushered us through the that early point of the game jitters. How crucial was the nine turnovers that your defense forced in the first half, just getting the separation and being able to have control of this? Yeah, well, anytime you force turnovers is good because that's a possession that they don't get an attempt. And, uh, and then when, when we're in the broken court, because of our selflessness, we, we usually have an opportunity to get a good shot. So I thought that was important, yes. In the second half, you know, it seemed like Colin was a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, was that something that, that you were asking Graham to do to you know, find his spots and, and to uh, get in the paint and, and get some shots for the team? I always want him to be aggressive. He, uh, he's such a good player. I think maybe he was a little fresher because he only played six or seven minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. So, uh, but yeah, again, our guard line is, you know, although small in height, they, they, they're big hearted and, and really tough. So I, I felt like he gave us a great boost in the second half. Coach, you had Zach Cleveland bringing the ball up a ton, and he was kind of running the offense, hitting Colin in the second half. What do you see from them going forward, and what do you see from them tonight? Uh, well, we, we've known Zach's a, such a versatile player. He's too selfless right now. He doesn't look to shoot, and he can. Uh, but he's got, he's got guard skills, so we don't, we don't mind our, our forwards. As a matter of fact, we try and recruit positionless guys so we don't mind them handling the ball and making decisions because I think they're good at it. I don't know if this is, I don't want this to go over, but that's the third straight game I've been calling without a turnover. As a freshman, how important is that from the point guard just to have, and to have clean slate after clean slate because that, again, helps your offense and make sure you don't lose possessions. I like that you said clean slate after clean slate and not clean sheet after clean sheet. That shows you don't watch a lot of EPL and Anyway, uh, yeah, no, Collins, he's, he's just got that toughness, that savvy. He's got a veteran's approach to it. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 think he's, I think he's got an incredibly bright future. Your ability to not have guys walk a lot of minutes, especially in turning time, because of the lead, how crucial is that going into the semifinal round just to make sure those guys have a chance to recover, rest, and be – fresh as possible for Thursday. may have learned a little bit from last year, just how many minutes guys logged and kind of how we, we were a little out of gas down the stretch. So 
we've tried to do it all year where we would manage minutes and uh, it's great when your crowd's giving you such a boost and you can separate a little bit. Um, I think we got Darius under 30, didn't we? Right at 30 and uh, yeah, Joe. So I think the minutes were fine tonight and uh, whoever we play, EKU or Queens, uh, you, you, we'll, we'll need those guys to be fresh.